And here we are back again. Uh, today we're not doing any uh, videos of uh, flights or anything like that or even any other games. What we're doing today is we're working working out and showing how to actually give uh, faster load times to X-Plane 11. Now it's pretty simple. Actually it's not simple. It actually does, a has, does take a little bit of time to sort out. But basically, um, you can go and download this from the org. It's called X Organizer, and basically, it's a little uh, add-on and mesh and plugin uh, program that um, pretty much does all your load order and turns off this and turns off that. And you can divide all your different parts of the world into specific profiles. So basically, we're just going to quickly go through this and uh, see how it's done. Now, what you will have to do when you initially uh, get it is um, basically I just put it straight into my X-Plane folder uh, and then you have an exe file. So if you look uh, right here, da, 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 um, here's my X-Plane folder. I've just thrown it straight in there and there it is there. So there's your uh, exe file, basically grab that. I've actually put it on my taskbar here. So whenever I wanna open up X-Plane, I just um, click on there and up it pops. So we'll get rid of that. So if you do ever want to change your um, location of X-Plane or you have a separate install of X-Plane, you can just jump in here and you can do that there. I've never had to worry about that because I've obviously set it up straight away. You can rescan your uh, plugins after you do stuff that will go and have a look and organize all that. But what we'll do, we'll quickly go into this and uh, see how it's done. Now, over on the side here, you can create a profile, a uh, set. So basically a set or profile. Um, I've obviously got it for different specific regions around the world, so I don't have to actually load in all my sceneries in at once. Uh, when I was uh, on my last install of uh, X-Plane 11, I had everything loading and I think it took like 15 minutes and I, it was just ridiculous. I was like, ah, oh, this, this can't be cool. So uh, we had to work around and um, someone told me about this and so I grabbed it and voila, it's all been fantastic. So let's just say um, we are going to do New Zealand. So basically uh, what you can do is you add a set, name it, it'll come up in here, it'll pop here and basically you can change all your different um, all your different folders. Now these folders here are all the ones that are in your um, your scenery any, which is in your uh, in your folder here. So you go into your custom scenery and you go down and you open up your pack. This is where you used to do it before. You used to come in here um, and you would get all these. I don't know why that's up there. That shouldn't be up there. I'll have to sort that out later. Why is that there? That's very interesting. I think maybe because we're on the New Zealand profile and it doesn't actually matter because we're not even loading into New Zealand. But as you can see, some of these ones already have their disabled little uh, text on there just so they don't load when you load up X-Plane. So that is that there. Uh, we'll get rid of that again. So we are in New Zealand. Um, Obviously, I have not updated this. What happens is when you add new uh, airports in and things like that, they will all automatically be ticked to be used. So what you have to do is you have to go in and uh, save your profile again. So what I do, uh, we will go through all this because we're in New Zealand, get rid of that. I don't know why this one's in here. I guess because I uh, actually loaded this in and I haven't saved it properly since then. We'll take that off. I don't have any New Zealand um, airports at the moment, but obviously things like global airports we're going to want, and these prefabs for uh, FS economy we're going to want. I don't have any like uh, World to Explain or anything like that for New Zealand. General, this is obviously all your libraries. As we work our way down, we've got our, our overlays down there. Uh, then open up further and we have um, all these different um, orthos that we are using. Obviously, we're not going to use things like uh, Arizona and Colorado and all that type of jazz because they are not in New Zealand. So basically, this one's here too. I don't know why this one's here. So we'll just take him out and we'll head down. Now, all these ones here um, are New Zealand. This one's actually, um, this is Australia, these two here. And obviously the ones above are Australia too. So we're heading down, these are all the Lindemans Ortho down here. And then we have our Australian ones down here. 
Now, if we get down here, I'm actually been turning off my uh, my mesh because I'm trying to back off on the old uh, frame hits. So, you know, for now, because I haven't been using it and I haven't found it to be a problem, everything looks sweet. Um, I just get rid of that. We'll open up these. I don't know why these are here. These, this little folders here are the ones that hasn't been designated to a specific folder up further. So you actually will grab things and go, okay, I'll take that and I'll put it up there. So um, I don't know why this one here, maybe that one should be actually in a mesh. So basically you drag it and stick it in the mesh folder there and that would be hanging out there. Apparently, well, it's not really, I don't think it's a... Okay, so it's in that mesh folder. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's see what that does. I don't actually know what that actual folder is. Okay, so all these are pretty sweet. And so what you do is you come over and you hit the save button and you make sure you are right on top of the text here and that will save it. And then if we jump to a different one, say Australia, uh, at the moment I've only got these three in Australia up, uh, they uh, will only come up and if we want to head back to New Zealand, everything we did is Sweetums. So all that is good. Da, 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 da. I don't know why I have these open. Well, I have the overlay here. That's because we uh, use that in New Zealand. So that is all good there. So basically you can go through and you can edit all these up. This is um, America. Uh, I don't know why this one is actually on here. Um, airports, Orbex, da, da, da. yeah, that's America. Uh, and heading down, I haven't been using any UD Hench Mesh. Yeah, see, I've just been turning these off lately just to see if it really bothers me that they're actually not there. And I have found that it hasn't really. So, yeah, okay, so we're just going to save that. So press save and click on there. So we'll go back into, say, New Zealand. No, we're not going to write that. So what you can also do is you can go on your plugins, you can turn your plugins in on and off here. You can turn off your scripts, you fly with Lua, and Python. Obviously I sometimes use uh, FS Enhancer, which I've turned off just because uh, I'm just using the stock. Um, I'm just finding that to be sufficient. So I'm trying to back off loading everything full on textures, frame hits, all that. Just trying to wipe it out go with that excuse me so that's where you can turn these on and off but another thing you can do you can go over here to this information on airports and mesh and you click on this one here and you open them up and you can see where you have what types of mesh now or anything overlays okay just say we want to turn on our uh, UHD mesh we just go bam this is where we have it obviously this is the, um, the um, what do they call that? The L Pilot X, I think his name is. He's on there, the one, two, and three of that area. Um, I've got this little bit that is um, right in the Alps here. And I have New Zealand. So if I want to turn off that one and turn on this one, you can see where I've got all just the normal HD mesh. If we turn the meshes off completely, we can go into our, say, our overlay is where we have overlay all these area da, da, da. Still, still got overlay where I'm not even using things any at the moment so if we turn that one off and just say we want to see where we have all our ortho at the moment this is where I have all my ortho this is the zoom level 14 and then we've got the 17 for the Lindemans and obviously these are the ones for US ortho which are awesome and I've done these ones myself through here so that works really cool. We'll turn those off and we'll open them up. So as far as um, World to explain, I just have this um, US West one in there. So that's basically it. So if we head back over to here, you can actually have a look at your scenery, scenery uh, in it right here. And I'll show you what exactly what it looks like at the moment. Uh, so you want to check it out you go, yes, cool, looks good, no worries. So that's about it. Just a quick little video just showing you how to um, how to make your load times a lot quicker and explain. Obviously, 
If you want to do um, you know, a flight across the pond, say you want to do New Zealand to Australia, um, you're going to have to obviously load them both in if you want to you know, uh, use the orthos for them. Um, so you can just do it however you like. Um, say it's Europe to, if I made an England one, I would do uh, Europe to England, all that type of jazz. But that's about it. Uh, apart from up the top here, you know, you can rescan your um, your plugins and sceneries if you add things in while you're tinkering in here. Um, auto save on. Um, I think I turned that on. Um, I think it's auto. Actually, I don't actually know. I'm not going to chat about that if I don't actually know. So there we have it. Little um, little video on how to make your. Uh, sceneries and explain load fast. I hope uh, you enjoyed the little video there. I tried to cram it into a quick video. Sorry if I spoke a little too fast. Um, just go back and have a look at the video again. Uh, any questions, just throw them in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.